Hi everyone, this is a quick demo of uh, some solid meshless structural analysis running inside of Onshape. Okay, here is, um, here is an example model. It's a step stool and you can see we have injection molded uh, steps. And I have a second configuration with uh, sheet metal steps. And the idea is to analyze both and see which one is a better design. So the way I would do it is I go in first, I'd add some solid cloud. Since it's already added, I don't need to do that. And then I would just get a tab and I would go here and add my first project. So I'll take that first step stool assembly and bring it into some solid. Now to open it up, I got to do a few things. So the first thing I have to do is I have to create material properties. So I'm going to set material properties for all parts to steel initially and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in here and pick the plastic parts that one that uh, that one that one that one and that one and I'll just set those to uh, let's make it ABS plastic okay and then the last thing I want to do is I want to take these these two tubes and I want to make them aluminum so I can just go and say set material uh, make it aluminum. Okay, so all my material properties are defined. The next thing I have to do is to do my connections between the parts, and I can do that automatically. I just need to specify two things, a gap tolerance and a penetration tolerance. This is the, the maximum gap between any parts or the max that they will overlap. And I say find, and it'll take a minute, but it'll search for the entire model and build up connections between each part. Now, if I want to see if it was all done okay, I can just uh, show any disconnected groups of parts and it says I'm okay, so that's fine. The last thing I have to do is create my analysis. So I'm going to do a structural analysis. I want to constrain the base. So I'll just come up here and I'll pick these bottom faces like that and I'll, make, I'll constrain those. Uh, and then I want to load the, the top here. So I'm going to create a force. I want to put it on the top step and I want to make it pretty heavy. I want to make it a thousand newtons, which is about 230 pounds. Okay. Uh, so there's my load down. So that's all ready to go, but let's do a second load case. And the easiest way to do that, I'm just going to copy this one. So it keeps the constraints the same, but I want to edit the load. And I can edit this by picking here and saying edit, or I can just double click. And what I want to do is I don't want to do the top step. Instead, I want to put it on this step here. So I'm just going to delete that face, add that face, and move it down. So there is load case two, and there is load case one. Okay, everything's ready to go. So I just need to say solve. Pick what I want to solve. And you know, now it will go away and solve this on the cloud. Now, a couple things is happening here. It was solving the model adaptively. So... You can see that there is no meshing process, but we will solve it multiple times to get an accurate solution. And this will just take a minute, and when it's done, we'll, we'll come back and look at the results. Okay, here's our results coming up. This is the first load case. And you can see I have this, a display shape there, and I can you know, animate that, of course, if I want to see what it looks like. That's exaggerated displacements. Or I can look at my uh, second load case. And I can ex examine that as well. So you can see that I have displacements on depending on how I loaded the model. And you can see this one is actually a little bit bigger, point, uh, point 0.46, so a fairly large uh, uh, deformation there. Okay, let's go back and look at the second configuration. Now, the way I would do this is I would just make a second design study. I pick right there. I pick the second assembly. And now it'll bring that assembly in as a second study. But as it brings it in, it'll do a few things. It will try to copy as much of the first study as possible. So it'll copy in the material properties. It'll copy in the connections. And it'll copy in all these different uh, analysis definitions. So once it's done, we'll have to fuse to edit a few things. So I have a second study, and you can see it, it made all the material properties. Now, I didn't know about everything because we had this new steps put in here. So I have to go and back and reassign those. Well, that's pretty easy. This is sheet metal, so I want to pick there and there. I'm going to make that out of aluminum. 
So I'll set material to aluminum. Uh, and then these cross and these cross beams, uh, these cross braces and these end caps, I want to make them all out of plastic. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to make all those and I'll make those all out of ABS plastic. So I'll set material, make that plastic. And finally, this one here at the bottom, I'll just make this out of, out of steel. Okay, so all my material properties are, are, are defined. Uh, you see my connections are already set up, so I don't do anything there. And my analysis are mostly set up. You see I have all the constraints done. Uh, you can see the constraints are there. The one thing that's not there, it doesn't know about the load because, you know, we changed the, the step definition. So I'll have to reassign that. And you can tell that it's, it needs to be reassigned because it's in red. So I can just edit this, and easy way to edit, just double click. And I need to make this, again, a thousand newtons. And this time I want to make it on this step here. And I'm just going to come up here and pick these uh, top faces to, to load. OK. And a, sim a similar thing, I want to go up and do the, uh, the, the second load for the bottom step. Again, just make it a thousand, and we'll pick these steps here, these faces. Good. All right. Well, now that's all set. And that's all good to go. So let's just solve those. And now I can. I don't have to resolve the first design study. So I just need to pick here, and I'll go ahead and solve these. And again, this will just just take a minute. But once it's done, we'll can go back and then compare the results from the two load cases in the first study to the results from the, the second second study. Okay, here we go. So there is the uh, the results from the, uh, the first load case. And you can see that it's 0.13. And then here's the results from the second load case in the bottom step. And you see it's 0.21. Remember, 0.21, that looks a little bit stiffer than what we had before. And we can come back here and look. Uh, here is our, our first, our first uh, design study. And yeah, it's 0.46. So the second one's actually twice as stiff. And, uh, and here is the results from the, uh, the first load case. Now, a couple other things. We can uh, go back and look at the uh, the weight of each of both of these uh, assemblies. So I can come up here and say info. And the first one was 85 newtons. And the second one was, uh, let's look here, this is um, 80 newtons. So this is a, a lighter, it's, it's a lighter assembly, but it's also stiffer and stronger. So probably a better way to uh, Probably the second assembly is a better choice for uh, for this step stool. Okay, that was uh, some solid running inside of Onshape, doing uh, two load cases, two design studies, and all in a few minutes. Thanks for watching.